everybody, Phyllis Moore here, Philosophically Speaking. I'm glad you tuned into my channel today, and I invite you to click like, share, and subscribe. I don't know if you'll hear the wind blowing in the in the background. You know, we can't see the wind, but we can see the, the effects of it. And as I'm looking out and I see, you know, the trees, you know, kind of swaying and this and that, and, and uh, on the roof of my house, I hear... I don't know if they're acorns or what, but things just keep, you know, popping on on them and that kind of thing. And then it's like, whoo, it's kind of scary. Um, if it wasn't sunny and lovely out, I would would think, oh gosh, it's like a, a scary movie. But in any event, um, I, I don't know. I'm I'm thinking of the sound of music. Don't know why. I don't know why that popped into my mind, but I kind of I kind of think I do because what what. Uh, subconsciously I made a connection and uh, I hadn't even realized that. I guess it's because Sound of Music is one of my very favorite movies. Plus, <laughs> something happened to me the other day. The day before my birthday. Come on. All things leading up to one's birthday. Up to and including. Because I always talk about, it's going to be my birthday. It's birthday eve and birthday week and birthday month and, and all of this. And you get kind of a special free pass. Get to run with scissors and, and all kinds of you know special um, freebies that should come your way. But in any event, I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm walking. And I'm walking. And someone that I know who lives in, in the neighborhood where I walk every day has been very friendly and has a dog that, you know, comes out and barks at me. And, you know, I never like that, but at the same time, I'm not going to taunt an animal because even if they have one of those collars, which this one does, the invisible fence kind of idea, or if they're behind an actual fence, I never presume that I can go, ha, 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 dog, I can flip you with one finger like a tiddlywink across the yard. You know, I'm not going to do that because I have known it to happen that dogs get out of the fence and they're usually the big dogs. Of course they are. And then I go, oh, I get that. I wonder if they remember me <laughs> and what I did is, in, you know, kind of na 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 as I go by. So I never presume they will do that. But this guy told me, he goes, oh, you know, this dog won't, you know, won't bother you. You know, it's a lovely dog. It's our family pet. Beware of those who say, my dog what doesn't bite. My mom always told me a story going up. I'm going to have to ask her about this, but she said, you know, out in the country and there was, you know, a dog, I don't know if it was on the farm or whatever, but the person that owned it would go, Ficky won't bite. Ficky, what kind of name is Ficky? But anyway, maybe that's why the dog, you know, was so, you know, upset because it's like with a name like Ficky, whatever. But she, she said that I always go, Ficky won't bite. Well, Ficky did bite. <laughs> be careful. It, be, be just mindful of people who will say their, their children will always behave. My children won't do that. My dog won't do that. My, no, because you can't predict what somebody or something else will do. You just can't. So in this particular, he, you know, I'm sure he meant well, but he you know, said, if you were to walk up to my dog and get close and kneel down and let him see you, he's fine. Well, okay. But I didn't buy into it. I would always walk by. But I did in recent weeks start not moving closer because, you know, you don't know where that line is that they'll run out and all of a, you know, be barking at you and all of a sudden something, the, you know, electricity or whatever will pull them back. But, you know, if an animal gets provoked, and I'm not provoking it, but if they get angry enough or go, ah, oh, I'm going to come get you. I'll get you, my pretty, which is from Wizard of Oz, not Sound of Music. But the, you know, they, they might come out and try to, you know, go, go a steps further. So I, I don't try to, to get that close. But in this particular instance, you know, I do kind of pause, stop, slow down, and just go, hi, puppy. I try to use a very low tone and try to, you know, kind of give them a little bit of, a sense that, you know, I'm a decent person. You know, as Stuart Smalley used to say in uh, Saturday Night Live, I started to go Saturday Night Fever, <sighs> too much useless information rolls around in this brain, but I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. Oh, doggone it. <laughs> how, 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 how poetic. A doggone it, people like me. But in any event, this day, Saturday afternoon, lovely day, just sun was out, very peaceful. 
I'm walking past the dog and there was a, a, a there would had been some flooding because they had like a flash flood a few days before down below where this dog lives and so maybe I was closer than I usually am and he came running out barreling out when he saw me and I don't know if he lunged or just literally you know you know he was running so fast he collided with me i did not know it happened so fast if this animal bit me or just lunged at me and scratched me all i know it was like bang wow ow you know and um i just kind of stepped back and i don't know if it 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 you know surprised this animal as well or not but i just kept going and i was like ow ow I, I, I might have said something that wasn't very nice because it was just like, man, ow, ow, you bit me. And I just kept going. And it was like when, when something like that happens, it's just like the pain, the pain. Anyway, I kept going and stuff. And I got home later. And I mean, it kind of broke the skin. It wasn't like blood was, you know, running down the road or down that embankment or whatever. But I steered clear. What was interesting, though, you know, when I got home and I told my husband, I said, I don't know if it was his, you know, paw or or his maw. <laughs> it was no family member. I don't know if it, you know, if it was a scratch. And he, he my husband said, yeah, it was kind of like a bite. But, you know, I thought, do I go back and ask and say, hey, you know, does your, does, um, you know, has your dog been vaccinated or, you know, whatever. My husband said, well, it wasn't, you know didn't look rabbit or anything but in any event the next day I did go back and walk past as I always did and I thought I'm not gonna say anything you know you hate to you know you hate to do that be that kind of person but as I was walking by and he spoke to me and stuff the the man not the dog the dog didn't say anything to me no apology nothing and uh, but when I walked by the, the you know he said you know I, I just kind of was talking in generalities and stuff and he goes he said did and he said the dog's name, which I, I privacy reasons I don't want to say. <laughs> but he said, did, did he bite you yesterday? And I thought, oh my gosh, how did you know? How did you know? And he actually gave me some like dog repellent or whatever. And he was very apologetic and, you know, no, no, he's got to learn and this, that. And so it was, he was lovely. You know, I don't want any harm to come to your animal. I don't want you to take action or whatever. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. I appreciated the sentiment. But now I'm thinking of that song, you know, these are a few of my favorite things. When the dog bites. No, that is not one. No, and of course, that's not one of the things. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling bad, I simply remember my favorite. That's what I should have done. I simply remember my favorite things. And then I don't feel so bad that you bit my leg. <laughs> anyway, whatever. So, you know, just stream of consciousness. You know, it's okay. I am fine. I am still able to walk. But as I told the man, and I didn't, it just didn't occur to me at the time, but in trying to smooth things over and keep them light, I said, you know, I've never been bitten by a dog. My dad, when he got out of the military for a while, he wore, he, he actually worked for the post office and this was back in the day when you would you know walk around and, and carry things and he actually got bitten by a dog so I had never had that experience and now I can check it off my list it was not on my bucket list it was not on my wish list but it was definitely on a list of things I had not experienced and now I have so move on hopefully I'll never have that again but anyway just just something to share and ramble about as I am prone to doing I'm okay. You're okay. Hopefully you're having a good day. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. We'll catch up again very soon. Bye-bye.